The good news about uh, heat waves and hot weather is that there are some very simple common sense things everyone can do to minimise their risk. The first is simply to drink more water and this is particularly important for elderly people. The, the second thing is to do whatever you can to avoid being out in the heat. So firstly plan your day so that you're not out in the afternoon. If you have to go to the shops, try and do it first thing in the morning. If you have an air conditioner, it's a really good idea to use it on these, these really hot days. Um, if you don't have air conditioning, there are other things you can do to keep your house cool, like shading windows, ideally from the outside, but if that's not possible, just closing, closing curtains, uh, particularly on the, um, the west-facing parts of the house. The third thing is that um, even if you yourself may not be particularly vulnerable to hot weather, you probably know someone who is. And so if you can, we would strongly encourage you to get in touch with your elderly friends and relatives, either by telephone or dropping around, to, to let them know that you're thinking of them, to offer them some practical support on these days, which can be really stressful and, and hard for those people. And, and finally, I think, hot weather is always an issue here in Australia, so it's important just that you are aware of First of all, the risks and the simple things that you can do to avoid it. So have a plan, keep an eye on the weather forecast throughout the summer, and when you know it's going to be hot, uh, take these simple actions and, and, as I said, know who it is that you're going to call and take particular care of on those days.